One. Welcome all. We're at Well-Rounded BBW um, 2013 at the Plaza Hotel Las Vegas at the Vendor Fair. So and excited. Alexi is doing way too much shopping. Well, we went we went down to the booth at the end, which is uh, Roger's Wear, yep. and found some gorgeous, flowy, my style, hippie, flowy, colorful tops down there. I'm going to send the boyfriend down to go yeah, buy me early she, Christmas presents. She said, hey, um, bring Silent Mike down here and show him which ones I like. <laughs> <laughs> to spend all his money on exactly. It. Well, I've already spent half my budget, <laughs> so now she's going to spend his, his budget. Yeah, exactly. So I'm thinking so. maybe if he loves me. Oh no! Oh, that's oh, bad. Bad. I know that's, that's not nice bad. to do at all. Emotional blackmail. Yeah. I'm not. I don't condone emotional blackmail. No. Okay. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> we are here with Peg, and Peg is part of NAFA, the National Association to Advance Fat Acceptance. NAFA has been around forever. Since um, ni- 1969. Awesome. Mm-hmm. A lot of us don't think of this community being around that long. You know, everybody's in the, but they've been supporting us fatties for a really long time, huh? For, yeah, 44 years. Now, how long have you been involved for quite a while, you and your sister? Uh, my sister and I got involved in 2001 with NAFA. Well, actually, we went to a convention in San Francisco in the 90s, in like mid-90s, but there wasn't a chapter close to us. It took us like two hours each way to go to a chapter meeting. Oh, right. So we didn't get involved for a while. Is there a local Vegas chapter? Uh, there isn't a chapter here, but I think there, there probably will be. Soon. Okay. <laughs> well, well guys, you guys are sitting here in the middle of town. Well, well, we do know that um, you just came off of the NAFA convention exactly. here in Las Vegas. It was last weekend right? at the Westin over on uh, Flamingo, near Flamingo and um, the Strip. And it was a fantastic time. Uh, the crowd is smaller than, than well-rounded, but... Th- the messages, the the workshops, the everything was just wonderful. We got nothing but positive. Well, feedback and from a couple everybody. of my friends that came down, we were we were working over at Fan Fest and here, and so it, Weston and Tuscany are right down the street. So there exactly. were some some uh, my friends that were at. Uh, NAFA came down to the Tuscany and they were they were telling us how it was more educational it's yes. a little more you right. know um, yes. and very um, you know people are walking around learning things and oh, that's yeah. a good atmosphere it yeah. totally is because um, the tracks were to help people learn about health at every size we had uh, several movement classes throughout the week we had water aerobics we had yoga for fat bodies awesome. we had knee friendly fitness oh that's what I need <laughs> yeah, we, we have a woman who works with us. Her name is Cinder Ernst. And Cinder is, specializes in, in knee health. Really? And yeah. Uh huh. She's a she's a fitness trainer. Is she a local has, in Vegas? No, she's oh, in the Bay Area. What a bummer! Area. Look at me. I'm just trying to get guests. I'm like, oh, local. So I got to talk may, to her. But she she's may have some recommendations. Yeah, she oh, does. Yeah, yeah she that would be great. She has online seminars and um, does a news article, a monthly news article in the NAFA newsletter. So yeah. um, you could definitely connect. That's with her. one of the things about um, following NAFA, like I do on the Facebook page, because you guys have Facebook, yes. you have a Twitter, yes, um, and then of course there's your website. It is a a, a huge resource of information yes. for anybody who who decides that they want to become either an advocate um, uh, mm-hmm. even those who write blogs about right. being mm-hmm. fat or anything like that if you want to be in the know of what's going on NAFA is the place yeah, to go. Laws and, and cases that have come up, all of that mm-hmm. I find on the, the NAFA And just the resources that you have for anybody finding out information about anything, yeah. your, your place is the place to go. Yeah. Your website is the place to go. And, and we have all sorts of resources. On a resource page, we have links to just about every uh, plus-size clothing vendor, these small vendors that are like here, people, designers right. who make especially for our community. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have links to their websites. And uh, so there's just about anything you'd want to know about fat community community you can find on the website somewhere you might have to wade through it a little bit <laughs> now, why, why did you um, I know that you went to a meeting with your sister but w- mm-hmm. what 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 made you want to become completely involved as you guys are um, initially well see I've, I've been a fat person my whole life mm-hmm. I was a chubby kid I was a fat teenager and I became a fat adult so it's something I've always lived with um, I didn't realize until I was an adult uh, well into adulthood, that there was a community that supported people of larger body size. Right. I had no idea about any of this. And it was a girlfriend of ours. In fact, 
My sister and I have a business partner in our uh, chunkybusiness.com. Love your chunky business. I do too. Com, I do way. too. Thank you. Yeah, go go to a Christmas party with Peg. You're getting a chunky business something. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> we're generally here selling chunky business, but today we're here representing NAFA and our end bullying now. Yeah, projects, we're going to get to so. that topic in yeah. a second here. But um, our friend Diane brought over a Dimensions magazine. And in that Dimensions magazine was this little ad for Na a NAFA convention in San Diego. That's the one we went to. Uh, initially and like I said we didn't get involved for a few years because of the distance between us and a chapter <clears throat> but when we um, decided to start chunky business we thought the NAFA people will love this stuff they'll love fat art that represents them that looks like their bodies so we uh, got involved and uh, started going to the regional uh, events in San Francisco and in 2004, I am, I'm, uh, time flies when you're having fun. It was either 2004 or 2005, I decided to load up our van I and travel this. all around the country to every size positive event that I could find promoting. I remember seeing y'all yeah. on the internet and stuff, you, yeah. and you in your van and yeah, taking waving. pictures. Yeah, exactly. How fun yeah. was that? It totally was. Uh, How I, long did you do it? Like, was it several months? It or? was several months, yeah. Uh, oh. Darlene was still working, so she would fly to the major events and vend with me. Uh, I rode, I drove by myself How around fun. the country in the van. From coast to coast, north to south, I hit everywhere. New York, Texas, Washington, <laughs> State, <laughs> all over. And it was really fantastic. So if anybody's an expert about a, a BBW event. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's fake. Yeah, I'm the one who's experienced most of them. Uh, but in at toward the end of that, well, no, actually it was about the middle of that trip. Uh, I went from New York and I headed south. I was going down the eastern seaboard and I went to um, Asheville, North Carolina to interview oh that was another thing i did while i was on this trip i left that out i bought myself a, a movie camera i had never owned one but i felt like i was supposed to interview organizers of okay events okay and create a documentary which i did called not in it for the money okay so i was um going to Asheville to interview Kara Brewer Allen who was one of the co-chairs of NAFA at the time so I did that interview and it was really great I was going on down to Florida but the storms hit so I headed west again and along the way I got an email from Kara saying you know NAFA really needs some new board members yep would you consider joining the board and it was like, okay, I've never even thought of that, but <laughs> I'll think about it. So I thought about it and I decided, okay, I have some talent, some experience from my work background that could really benefit this organization. Yeah. So I came on board as the public relations chairman because I had an advertising and PR background. Right. So since that time in 2005, I joined in January of 2005. So that's eight years. You're, eight still, you're still on the board? Eight still? and a half years. I'm still on the board of directors. I'm still the public relations chairman. You'll see Peggy pop up every once in a time watching TV, and there's like a fat from there. And she pops up, and she's giving her little spiel, and yep. you know they'll interview her for a show or something. So oh, she yeah. pops up. All. You've had some interesting interviews. So oh, I'm like, I certainly have. There's been a couple of heated <laughs> ones. I can't remember the ones offhand, but I know we've talked about them. So. I've been on Good Morning America twice. I've been on Anderson Cooper 360. Uh, I I've been on Nat Geo's uh, Taboo. Right, Taboo. I seen um, you on. I was on a double episode of the Dr. Phil show. Um, I don't know. The list just. We're goes not on. fans of Dr. Phil. I am here. not a fan of Dr. <laughs> Phil. No, I am not. In fact, I refuse to go on the show when they first contact me. Oh. The reason being that when he was just first on television, they had uh, two of the officers from NAFA come on. They were both women who were raising children alone and they posed it as this is about single parenthood but as soon as they the show began they turned it all around and it was about their weight and they hijacked them oh, oh, goodness and gracious. tried to do an intervention and on I, tv on television yes oh wow my god so when they contacted me i said no i am not interested i am not coming on the dr phil show and i got um several calls from several different producers trying to talk me into it. 
And finally, a man called me who said he was new to the Dr. Phil show, that he had worked on Sally Jesse Raphael and Montel Williams and had had NAFA members on their shows. What did they want you to come on and talk about? They wanted to have the great fat debate is what they were going to call it. Oh, wow. And so there were four people who were supposed to be representing. No. Three, three people who were supposed to be representing um, our community and three people who were uh, representing the diet, weight loss gotcha, community. the other side. Uh, Jillian Michaels, um, the jerk who owns the anti-gym in San Diego <laughs> and Los Angeles. I call him a jerk because he wears the No Fat Chicks t-shirt. Right. Oh, he yeah. throws Twinkies at people in the gym. He... Hits them with riding crop. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah. It and reminds me of the TV show that's popular right now. What's the one where the oh, weight loss show, The, the Biggest oh, Loser? The Biggest Loser, the biggest yeah, loser. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hate I that. I can't stand watching that yeah. show. Well, I don't want our interview to go 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 by without us talking about NAFA's um, anti-bullying anti um, campaign. So tell yes. us about this, Peg. Certainly. Um, in 2000. Well, over the, a few years ago, we've mostly focused on adults in the past and working to end the discrimination right. against fat people. But a few years ago, we began to see the focus turn to children. And it, be, and it was a mounting problem as far as we saw. And then the First Lady of the United States of America comes out and says, we're going to end childhood obesity in one generation. Right. So now suddenly fat children are told that there's something wrong with them. Right. That they need to be wiped out. Right. Yeah. So we said, no, nah, this is not right. We've got to step up. We have to do something about this. So in 2010, no, 2011, we were in Washington, D.C., and we held a press conference at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., asking that physical appearance be added to these anti-bullying laws that right. are trying oh, to be good. passed through yeah. Congress. Oh, good. Yeah, absolutely. Because not, they, they are, they're crafted after the anti-discrimination law, so they say not based on sex, uh, you know, uh, on your race, your gender, gender, your nationality, your sexual preference, your perceived sexuality. But it doesn't Another. say physical appearance. Right, right. And little kids are bullied because they're a redhead with freckles or they right. wear glasses You're right. or they're too or tall. Or they have braces or, they have or anything. Yeah, exactly. And it's physical. Yeah. You're right. right. So that really needs to be included. And then last year, we began to really take it to the streets, so to speak. Um, our OC chapter, uh, several of the officers of our OC chapter work for the Anaheim Y. And so they're already in place working with children. Right. And they, Donna Fry, who is the activism chairman for the OC chapter, has 15, 20 years of training in anti-bullying. And she trains speakers who speak against bullying. That's how far advanced up the ladder she is. Right. And she has gotten involved. She's creating curriculum. We're creating a website where we're going to have teachers submit curriculum ideas oh. for te to teach this. Well, to teach kids to teach not to bully yes. also. and to yeah, te To teach kids not to bully. Good. Uh, I think that's great because I, a lot of kids need that because yeah, they don't know. They don't know that exactly. it's not right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, she's had already rallies in the schools uh, where the children, if they want to participate, have to have their parents' permission to be involved. They sign a pledge card to help end bullying, and they get a free Free T-shirt that says "End, end bullying, bullying now. now." I love it. So she's got. We've got pictures of these of big groups of kids, 50, 60, 70 kids, all in these shirts, dancing and yeah, saying, "End bullying now." The one thing about kids is they love to learn new things, and yes, if they're they do. if they're being taught not to bully, yes. they'll actually learn. Well, it. and kids are so, you know, I think the prejudice. The kids learn prejudice from the grown-ups. Yes, they right. do. So if you can counteract that some way right. and, and get it in their head that this is not the way to be, then yeah. I think... And the, exactly. very often it starts at home where exactly. the parents bully the kid. Right. You're right, right. absolutely. And they just bring it with so them. How can people uh, uh, go find out about the programs that you have and upcoming classes? Or and to other, get involved other, in NAFA. And to get yeah. involved and stuff. Uh, we have a website. It's nafa.org. That's N A A F A dot O R G. And Pretty easy all, to remember. And then you're also on Facebook. We have, yes, we have a Facebook page for NAFA. We have a Facebook cause for NAFA where, where you can donate to, since we are a 5013C nonprofit organization, your contributions are tax deductible. 
Um, we have a chap. We have Facebook chapter groups for our OC chapter, okay. our LA chapter, San Francisco, and Washington D.C. So just if you just NAAFA search on facebook then you'll find all those various pages that you can go to and you can connect with us and since you and your sister do live here in las yes. vegas um i would like to uh, invite you to come to a, a sunday night show that we mm -hmm. normally do and we can take the whole, the whole i'd like time to take the whole three hours and talk about bullying because about, i think it's that important to talk about nafa and then Thank to you. talk about chunky okay chunky fine chunky business chunky business com. Business. Com. Right right i didn't, wasn't sure if you guys were still chunky businessing it we, so good for you we are uh, good but Rather than vend it this, we wanted to bring this Listen. message. Right. Okay. And um, we're we're just we're bringing this program to Las Vegas. We've awesome. already been in touch with some of the schools and some other people who are are excited to see it come here and uh, want to get involved. So we can use your help too. We would help. Just contact us. We love to help. Thank you so much for Thank being you. with us. It's it's always a pleasure to talk to you. I know this Thank is a couple you. times we talked to you now, but I would like to have like a whole show with just Sounds good. Okay. We'll get um, you on. Cool. And we'll make we'll make Dar come too with us. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> she's not shy about talking no, to you. No, no. She's very passionate about and this. And I guarantee this. Peggy's got some great dating stories too to tell. Ooh. <laughs> well, we're not talking about dating. We're talking about Indian oh. ball. <laughs> Three-hour three show. Three show. We got to put a little bit of, about little bad spices. dating story. Yeah, a little bad dating story. Thank you so much for sitting down with Thank us. You. This is the curvaceous Thank bounty you. of Sin City, and we are at Well-Rounded BBW 2013. We will be right back with more info.